Hello everyone. This is Santej Kalada from Kalada Academy. So in this lecture we'll be discussing on how to create custom audience from an existing database. This is something that you will need when you join a digital marketing company or when you're working for your clients. Most of your clients will have an existing database of their customers. So if you want to do an advertisement just targeting all the existing customers and all it is always good to go with custom audience so custom audience basically means you can create it by the actions you can create an audience based on the actions that a customer takes so before i show you how to create custom audience let me give you two real life exp- examples of why you should be creating custom audience let's say you are running a clothing store and you have customers who has bought avengers t-shirt i am sure most of you have seen this avengers movie right with all this iron man captain america it's one of my favorite movies so let's say you have customers who have already bought avengers t-shirts from your clothing store and let's say this month you are launching a new t-shirt based on the iron man so from your experience you know that people who who are interested in avengers t-shirts would be interested in iron man t-shirts as well so what you can do is you can download the contact details let's say phone number or email id of these customers that is the customers who bought the avengers t-shirt from you and you can upload it as a custom audience in the in the fb ad manager account so what facebook does is it will show your ad let's say you are running the ad for your newly launching t-shirt that is avengers t uh, i mean the iron man t-shirt so you can show this ad to only those people who have bought this avengers t-shirt from you so it will be a very very targeted campaign and the conversions would be really high another example would be this is a fake scenario okay like i am not revealing the real companies behind this so we'll take some two sample companies i'll tell you like in most industries your data is being exchanged by companies in various sectors so i'll explain to you this with an example let's say you went to a rolex watch showroom and you bought a watch most rolex watches would be somewhere around 1 lakh rupees right so what rolex company can do is they can say see people who can afford a watch of 1 lakh rupees and all they can definitely afford a premium car so what rolex company can do is they can sell the contact they can give this contact your contact details to companies they have tie up with let's say this rolex company has tie up with od showroom od cars so what they can do is they can give your contact details that's your email id and your phone number to the digital marketer at the od showroom so what he will do is using your contact number and phone number he'll create a custom audience so that the ad will be shown only to those customers who bought a rolex watch see if someone is someone can afford a rolex watch he can definitely afford a premium car so this is how companies exchange data between themselves so this is just a fake scenario in real world i am not revealing the real world companies here so if they can exchange data like this the conversions would be really like high same thing again let's say the company like bmw showroom let's say someone bought a bmw 3 series car from you then what bmw company can do is they can share your contact details with their partner if rolex is a partner of bmw and see for people again the reverse case scenario for people who can afford a premium car they can definitely afford a very good watch so rolex watch can create an ad targeting all the customers who bought a bmw car last month and they can show ad only to those people in such cases the conversions would be really high so these are just two examples on how you can use custom audience so i'll show you how you can create a custom audience from an existing database like maybe you have their contact numbers or you have their email id so for this first you need to go to your ad manager account and from ad manager account you need to click on audiences and see here now you have an option to create a custom audience so what you can do is just click on create custom audience and click on the option customer list so see what is written here include at least one main identifier so if you upload the phone number of your customers so facebook will be linking this phone numbers to the matching facebook profiles 
to improve the accuracy i always recommend to upload at least two main identifiers that is their email id and phone number if you just move your cursor you can see that facebook is telling you whenever you are entering emails you need to make the column heading as email and whenever you are typing phone numbers you need to give the column heading as a phone okay and it's always good like if you are uploading only the phone numbers it's always the best practice to include the country code along with the phone number okay so i'll just show you a sample of how it can be done i have the contact details of some people here so these are all the email ids let's say these are some of my existing customers so these are all my uh, these are all the email ids so what i can do is here is give the heading as email here and since all of these are phone numbers i can give it the heading as phone now another tip i would like to add here is like if you don't have the country code added at the beginning of phone numbers you can easily add it using your google sheets with a simple formula so let's say i want to add plus 91 which is india's country code before all this contact number so what i can do is in the next cell in c cell just type equal to then type concatenate concatenate so already the auto suggestion is coming so the string one so you need to combine two things so i need to combine plus 91 with all these cells all these phone numbers so what i can do is in the brackets put plus 91 and i need to combine plus 91 with this cell number so just press this cell number and close the bracket and then press enter so you can see plus 91 is added now all you need to do is copy paste this thing so just click here then you'll have this small rectangle here and the arrow will change like this just drag and drop it till the end so i have somewhere around 87 cells and as you can see plus 91 is already added to all these phone numbers now what i can do is i'll just de delete this sheet so where's the delete option yeah delete column Sorry, when it is deleting, that error is coming. So what I can do is I just shift it here and here. I'll type phone and this column heading. I'll type it as something phone numbers because I really don't want Facebook to consider this. I want Facebook to consider only the email and the phone. we i don't want facebook to consider those numbers without country code so this is basically how you do it and yeah next i'll download this sheet make sure that you are downloading it as a csv so download it as a csv file so i have it downloaded here now what i can do is i can go to my ad manager and here i already created on create custom audience then choose the option from the list and click on next does your list include a column for value like you can tell how much a customer is worth to your business in this case i don't want to use all those so i just click no and go to the next one now it's asking me to upload the file so this is the downloaded file so custom audience sheet 1 test i'll just name my audience something random and click on next so facebook will try to map your data so facebook has already mapped both the phone numbers even without country code also facebook has mapped so that's a very good thing if i want to avoid i can just if i let's say i don't want to avoid i want to avoid phone numbers without country code so i'll just click on do not upload i don't want to facebook to consider that so email and phone number both the options are ready actions needed do not upload i have already taken that so mapped so i'll just click on upload and read yeah so i am getting this error because i avoided one of the column it looks like there is still one unmapped identifier in your file 
finish mapping the data to improve your matrix because I don't want to map that data because I have already mapped my email and phone number. So I'll just click on upload anyway. So as you can see, Facebook has already mapped the, all those 86 profiles and created this custom audience. Now when I am creating an ad, I can always choose this option, custom audience test sheet. So let me try creating an ad. So I will go to create. Under create, I will just choose some random option, let's say conversions. because I. In most cases I go with conversion ads only. Conversion and lead generation. These are both my favorite ads. Let's click on start again. All those things I'll leave it as it is. This is just to show you a sample section called audience. Then you can just type in your audience name. See before typing in also Facebook is automatically suggesting. So custom audience test sheet one. This is the audience we create. So just click that. And now when you're running ads, you will be your ads will be shown only to those people whose data you just uploaded. So this in this cases the conversion would be really really high. So that's basically everything for this lecture. If you have any doubts, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you.